Well, it was, uh, as you can see, a rural community, but uh, it, kids from all over northeast Marengo County came to school here. It was a great little community. The, in fact, the town revolved around the high school. Everybody here played sports. Okay. It was a small school. I went, went to school here pretty much, well, all my life. Graduated here in 68, and uh, as my brother said, we all played sports, football, baseball, basketball. And we didn't have near as good a basketball team as he did when they came through, but we had a really good the gym. I remember it being one of the best. We traveled, you know, different places in this area, and it was one of the, one of the best gyms that we played in. I'm a lifelong resident of, of Thomaston. Uh, lived here all my life and still here. I think, if I remember right, our school closed in 1979, and the building has been vacant since then. And as you might imagine, with the vacancy comes deterioration. And uh, it was a it was a poor site prior to the renovation. Oh, this this is a landmark. I mean, it's one of the oldest county school buildings left in this area. And uh, my wife graduated from this school, and uh, it's just. The love for this community and for this building is just unbelievable. A few years ago when I came to Marengo County to work, I met with all of our small communities. Uh, we have eight mayors there and I met with all of them and asked them what their desire was for their town. So based on what they asked for, uh, which was a grocery store, uh, we began to work on that. It's, it's been approximately 20 to 25 years since Thomaston had a full service grocery store. We are. Uh, were very very excited when we when we learned that it was a possibility that we would get uh, a grocery store here in Thomaston. Brenda Tuck came into the picture when she took the job in Marengo County as the EDA director. Uh, Brenda and I met, and she was uh, she was well aware of Mr. Oliver at Valley Grand because she had shopped in his store, and I told her I would love to you know, get a grocery store or something in Thomaston. So. We began traveling to Valley Grand to meet with Mr. Oliver. Jeff and Brenda come talk to me about it, and uh, we worked on it almost two years before we come to agreements, and you know everything looked like it'd be worthwhile. They were looking at sites, and actually this was the third site that we looked at, and the third one was the property owned by the city that was the old school that is there, as well as the gymnasium, and they looked at all the property and decided that the gymnasium would be the best fit for setting this up and that they could do quickly in the parameters of getting a new business started there. I think it's just going to be a lifesaver for Thomas. We're doing two things. We're saving the old building and then we're making quality of life better and easier for our citizens. I think it's wonderful. That gym, it, it was completed in 1954 and it was well built and it would have been a tragedy to tear that building down. Just glad to see it saved. Glad to be able to see it being used for something that's going to be uh, beneficial to the to this area. He's keeping a lot of the spirit of that gymnasium and that means a lot to the people of Thomaston because so many people uh, especially years ago would start at a school and finish at a school. Their entire childhood was spent there uh, on, on up into young adulthood and uh, they really really welcome that facet being recreated there and that a piece of that history being saved. The, uh, there'll be a lot of things that people will recognize from the light housings that were the original light housings in the gymnasium to the basketball goals that will have plexiglass instead of wood now but uh, just a variety of things from the you know so the scoreboard is trying to be refurbished it was still on the wall uh, obviously needed a lot of work to to look good again but all of those small things that really mean something to somebody who may have played basketball there had gym class there uh, or just been there to cheer on a friend.